Hello everyone, my name is Han and welcome to Data Leveling. In today's video, I will go through the installation steps for Config UI and Config UI Manager on Windows. Alright, let's get started. The first thing to do is to install 7-zip, which will be used for extracting the content. We will then head over to the Config UI repository, scroll down until you find the direct link to download. Once the download is completed, you will want to extract the content using 7-zip, which we have installed earlier, like this. We will want to update the config UI by running the update config UI file in the update folder. This method will also be used for future updates when you want to update it to the latest version. Now to launch it, if you have a NVIDIA GPU, you will run the NVIDIA GPU file and if you don't, you will want to run the run CPU file. Now that we have config UI installed, there are some additional installations that I think will be helpful for your config UI experience. So the first thing you want to install is git, that will be used for installing the config UI manager. So once you have installed git, you want to go into the config UI folder, right click the custom notes folder, select open in terminal, and then you are going to perform git clone. This will install the config UI manager into the config UI folder. Now you want to launch config UI again, and we can see that the manager has been installed. You can check it by clicking on the manager button. Another thing you might want to do is if let's say you have multiple UI for stable diffusion, you might want to create a central model folder that stores all the models. You can do that by making a copy of the models folder and for me, I'd like to place it outside the config UI folder for easy access. You will then want to open the file that says extra models path with any word editor and you just have to uncomment all the hashes in the config UI section. For the base path, change it to the directory containing the models folder. Once that is done, you have to rename the file and remove the dot example from the file name. And that's about it. You now have a working Config UI and Config UI manager. If this video helped you, do leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And remember, don't stop leveling up.